Hi guys, how's it going? So I just got this new receiver FSAI6 in the mail and I was very excited to go ahead and test it on my plane but unfortunately I wasn't able to bind it and although this uh, other receiver that we covered in the previous video and we made this converter for is working just fine it seems that it's still bulkier than this other one you know when you combine them together and take into account that the cable is sticking out it's more bulky than than this one that is uh, uh, produced with the pins on it which is really nice if you are using a uh, servos and speed control so I'll show you my binding procedure and where it fails basically what you need to do is hook up this jumper cable that connects the two pins on the side it doesn't matter which way you put it um, just like that and then you connect your power so I'm taking my power from the ESC uh, so I'm gonna hook it up to the power alright so that was the motor and now I'm going to connect the power to the receiver uh, at uh, channel 1 I think you can use any channel but I'm just gonna use channel 1 making sure that the signal is on the left you have this indicator here that says signal signal plus and minus if it's going to focus today no it's not going to focus anyways uh, so I'm going to hook it up and now it starts blinking fast because it's in bind mode and on the receiver uh, basically all you need to do is hold the bind button and power it on at the same time come on so it says uh, it says RX binding. I don't know if you can see that here. RX binding, and it's not binding for some reason. Why is it not binding? Let me turn that off. And turn it on one more time. All right. So it. For a split second there, it said uh, bind OK. Let me turn this up a little bit so you can see it better. It says bind OK, but it it's not actually bound or binded, whatever the verb is. So I'm going to disconnect those two and try to connect it one more time without the bind key. And as you can see, it's still blinking slowly, and this guy over here doesn't show anything. So it's not really connected, it's not really binded. Um, and this is where I'm stuck. I tried all kinds of uh, ways to bind it, uh, turning off the transmitter and, you know, different configurations of powering up things. Maybe turning this on first, and then connecting this one and still nothing or maybe the other way around turning everything off connecting the receiver first all right and then powering on the transmitter and nothing and I'll try one more time to bind so I'll turn this off put it in bind mode binding put the jumper at the very top pin here and now watch the uh, receiver it said bind OK for a split second there so it it is communicating somehow with it but I think what's happening is it's remaining stuck the transmitter is remaining stuck in bind mode even after you remove the jumper so you know how it's now it's blinking slowly because it's in bind mode when you disconnect it and remove the bind key and then connect it again uh, it's still blinking slowly which leads me to believe it's somehow stuck in uh, in bind mode it doesn't want to uh, get out of it I don't know what's happening here but uh, just for comparison I'll show you how easy it is to bind the the newer one this one here so we'll do the exact same procedure with that one 
So I'm turning off the transmitter, put it in bind mode. All right. Uh, we've got the power here, which is supposed to hook up to uh, this last one. Signal is on top, and there is one other thing. This one doesn't have a jumper. It actually has a button right here that says bind on it. It's this very, oh, right here. It says bind right here. So I'm going to be holding this button with one hand and connect the power while pressing it and as you can see it immediately uh, it immediately worked and now you can see that this was successfully bound because it shows you the the power here and the TX battery and it's working off the right off the bat all right guys so that's it for this video if you have any idea why I'm able to bind this guy without a problem and this one isn't working. I, I can only imagine that there's something wrong with either the trans, tra, the receiver or something wrong with the transmitter. Uh, I can't know. I would expect I would uh, guess that it's the receiver since I'm able to bind to this one. But you never know with these things. So if you find a solution, maybe like I should do a firmware update or something. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe and smash that like button as always.